Today on circuitvalley.com we are going to take a look at a product from IKEA. This product is going to be this smart socket. This is a second generation or third generation product. I think it's called Tretact and it comes with a remote for very very cheap price. I am going to tear it apart and see what make it tick. You can see on this side is the output and this side is the input. You plug it in the socket. You can operate this with this button or you can also press this remote button, this remote is paired with this particular device and you can turn it on and turn it off and this particular unit I believe it has a relay inside and it can operate on the basis of this remote it's just a switch, it can be connected to IKEA hub and also be controlled by many sensors and everything else so let's see how to take it apart I can see one screw, this screw is a little bit weird I think I have a bit for it let's see if uh, we can open this device This is my Vera screwdriver kit and I believe one of these weird looking bits will fit in there. I believe this will fit. Let's see if it fits. I believe it fits perfectly. Screw is out and let's see if it can take it out. I think it may be having few clips on the sides, maybe on the both sides, or maybe on the all four sides. I will use my knife and try to pray it. Maybe you can use the praying tool or something like that as well. I have access. I hope I don't cut myself. Yeah, should be out. Yeah, so basically, there are there are clips on the all four sides, and this thing is open now. So now we have this thing in on hand, and you can see the quality is a bit shady. It's this wire, maybe due to the crimping or something like that, it was damaged. Inside we can see one relay. I believe this is the relay. There is a PCB, vertical PCB for button. And I believe it needs support because I cannot press it right now. Let me give it some support. I still cannot press it. It's already pressed. Need it to be in certain orientation to be supported by something. I think the PCB will be in these notches to be supported to be exact fit. So we see a relay down there, and these are the two socket points which are switched. I believe this is the Zigbee module, this wireless communication module. I believe this is the wireless communication module through which it, it talks to the remote or remote stocks to it and let's take it further apart and let's pull the whole PCB out we need to undo two more screws there are very two tiny screws there so I'll get my smaller screwdriver and I'll, we will undo those screws and we will take a look exactly what is going on where I've got my smaller screwdriver let's take it further apart screws out The clip which goes on to them is also, also just put in place, it's also out. Other screw is in the corner. It's also out. Let's see if I can push it. I don't think it's so easy to come out because you can see on the left side there is a little bit tiny amount of glue there and let's see how what can we do to peer it away 
What does this clue do? This clue, I believe, this makes it contact to the relay. This is not glue, this is some thermal compound. So that it really can stay a little bit cooler or something like that. Can I just use my screwdriver and pray it away? Yeah. So it has broken away. And now I can just push the pins from the bottom side and it should come out. You can see it's falling away from here. But further out, still something is hindering here. Yeah. Now it's almost completely out. Now we have it. You can see right in front of your eyes. This is the IKEA switch. This is the IKEA smart plug. Three tucked. So this is the wireless module which we can talk to the other modules and uh, there must be I believe this is just relay we will take a look even further there is a possibility that this module is not just wireless receiver but also a microcontroller and everything else just single solution I'm somewhat disappointed looking at it, it can short to somewhere. Let's try to remove this thing. I will desolder it because it appears to be soldered completely through. And then we will see how what can we do about it. These are the two switches. I think this one operates it and that's the reset button or something like that. I've taken it further apart, still pretty hot. These are the pins, they were soldered like this. This wire goes into the hole, they were soldered like that, and I desoldered it right here. And on this side, I had to cut this ground wire, and so it's not going to use it again. So, your live and neutral comes here and ground correctly goes in and now I can see the PCB a little bit better I'll get rid of this plastic as well I just need to figure out how I think I need to desolder these two points as well so I have just bent these two clips and now I got the grip of the PCB so now that we have the PCB in our hands we can take a closer look now you can easily see the relay, golden, right next to it is written C2304BD1N, 16 ampere, 250 volt AC and down there this big lettering is GI1A5DMF. These are the output posts, they are switched through relay and same as before this is the switch which turns this on and off, small LED for displaying and this the reset switch I believe and this is your wireless module which receives the signal from the IC let's take a look at its part number if we can focus looks like it's written MG21 I have checked it off camera with the lens and I believe next line says A next line says A 010J1 and the up next says B024S6 and in the end date cost says 2251. Let's investigate a little bit further. The AC comes in on these two posts. This directly goes in, this is the neutral directly goes in and this phase signal. 
this is the one which gets switched by the relay so I believe relay I believe relay is connected between these two points somewhere somewhere here and how does the circuit gets power I believe this through this it got rectified through these two diodes and then we have this really high voltage capacitor in the circuit 400 volts 2.2 microfarads and after this I believe it goes through this circuitry here I don't know if it is a regulator or something like that it goes through this and you got a working voltage there's one chip missing U3 is missing I don't know what does it do and I believe the brains of this guns of this whole system is in this chip this running microcontroller and everything I believe because there is no other IC there's a small IC there small 3 pin IC there so that's it for this quick tear down you can visit my website www.circuitvalley.com